Hey guys, thanks for watching Boxing Mania TV. We got uh, Coach Henry. First and foremost, how did you uh, see the, the fight tonight? Was it, was it everything you expected tonight? Uh, the heavyweight fight was better than I expected. Um, the job, I, would, I thought that was good for him because he's been blowing most of his guys out. So it was good for him to get some experience. He got hit, got knocked down, had to face some adversity, and he, and he came through. You know what all I mean? Right, all right. And the Charlo uh, Harrison fight, man, uh, I was actually going for Charlo. I thought he was losing a little bit. I yep. thought maybe he would might probably be behind two or three points. I don't know mm -hmm. how the scorecards were, mm -hmm. but he was close. But I just thought the rounds that Harrison were winning, he was winning them a little more clear than the ones Charlo was winning. Okay. But hey, man, the guy rescued himself. And, and the good thing about this fight, there was a lot of bad blood, land of animosity, mm -hmm. and it was genuine. Nothing make believe. It was genuine hate. <laughs> yeah, which no, was, no, which no. always adds to a good fight, man. Yeah, true that. Fight delivered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as far as the the heavyweight division, like you were saying, like who who do you say is the, the, the best right now, currently standing heavyweight? Uh, I would say the two that are going to fight February twenty second, Wilder and Fury, to me are the two Ooh, best heavyweights okay. in the world. Uh, Joshua's there, Ruiz is there. You know, there's, there's a lot of good names. There, Cowan Aki, obviously Chris Ariola. There's a lot of good good fights that could be made. You know, not necessarily the, the two top names, but there's still guys in the top ten. Good fights that can be made all across the board. Ariola and Cowan Aki mm -hmm. in August. You know, yeah. for example. Um, I'm curious to see how Andy Ruiz bounces back after his uh, after his loss. You know, I'm sure Andy's young, 29, 30 years old. He'll, I think he'll be all right. He'll, He'll come back. All right. Yeah. Speaking of the uh, the Wilder Fury, who, who do you have favorite for the rematch? Man, you know what's funny? I thought Wilder would win the first one, and I actually thought Fury won. I was there. I thought yep. Fury won. Being there live, I thought he won. Um, I know Fury made a change in this corner, and he didn't look too great in the last fight. And you know, people are going to say Wilder didn't either. Um, man, you make me pick. I'm not actually going to pick uh, Wilder. I have just the difference in power, man. You know. Fury has to be perfect, and, and he pretty much was the last fight, except for a couple of instances, you know, so Wilder has that eraser that can rescue himself from being down in a fight, you know. All right, as far as the top five pound for pound list, any, any division? You know what's crazy, bro? No order, what's up? I never do a pound for pound list. Why is that? I just, I don't know, it's not something I really get into, because I see a lot of people debate it on Twitter, and I'm like, who gives yeah. a fuck? Yeah, true that. Yeah, but they're, you know, obviously the top 10 guys, let's see, let me just shoot. Earl Spence, Lomachenko, yep. uh, Earl Spence, Lomachenko, Crawford, mm. Mikey Garcia. Uh, who else am I missing, guys? Who else am I missing? Huh? Oh, Canelo. Yeah, Canelo. Canelo. You got Usyk as well. Usyk, yeah. I mean, don't, you know, so I really don't get in the bait, but those are some of the guys that jump off. Jump All right. Out. As far as like, pound for pound, do you think the criteria should be made uh, made more so on resume and who they fought or who they think I is going to be? I would the think that's it, but you know, I mean, I don't know. Everybody has their own criteria. What who they think pound for pound. Uh, All right. Me, I don't really like. I said I don't really get into it that much. You know what I mean? Um, I never get into the fantasy fights either because you know, on any given night, any any top guy can beat someone. So we don't know how. You know, would, would Wilder's power, have it, would it have translated to the 60s and 70s? People say no. Well, I don't know. Why not? Why wouldn't it have? You know, I mean, boxing is the only sport, Is boxing is the only sport, supposedly, where the guys of today could not have competed with the guys of yesterday. Every other sport, basketball players are better athletes now than they were back then. Football, big, all. Mm -hmm. Only in boxing are the guys so scrutinized now that they could have competed back then. Only a couple of handful they, they'll say can, but I just think it's weird. You know, all right, all weird. right. Do, 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 do you think it's like the whole politics as far as like this side, like let's say PBC can fight the zone? Do you feel like that's like ruining the sport? Uh, or do you feel look, like... Look, I hope I hope it comes to an end. You know, at least the fights that we want to see made get made. Look at Fury Wilder, Aram and Heyman are working together. Uh, Sean Porter is supposed to be given the green light to try to make a deal with Crawford. But Crawford. Is it Crawford and Spence? No, but it's a damn start, and yeah. that's not a bad fight, you know? If, if business goes good between both parties and they work, who's to say you know, we're not going to see more of it? Hopefully. You know yeah, what I mean? Hopefully. That, that. Hopefully. Uh, the year's coming to an end. Who would be your 2019 fighter of the year? Canelo. Canelo. Oh, right. Yeah, just Canelo, man. I just, it's just crazy how he's... To me, he's just... He's turned into a fucking... A great fighter, Hall of Fame fighter, man. I, mean, I, I was kind of a non-believer, you know, when he first came out. 
You know, we had a guy fight him back in the day, Josecito Lopez, you know what I mean, way back in 2012. Um, but, I mean, Canelo has turned into something else, man. He really, I didn't think he won the first Triple G fight, but I thought he won the second. There's been like a lot of hate with Canelo, you know, like, like Marquez, Morales has been like kind of... I don't know why, you know, I mean, look, look, Mexican, what's the stigma about Mexican fighters? Balls to the wall, forward. Yep. Canelo's got some slick in that good boxing yeah. IQ. I mean, fuck, nothing wrong with that. The guy, mm -hmm. listen, he's, he's, he's not your typical Mexican fighter, but guess what? Mexicans love him. He's fucking being paid what he deserves. He puts asses in the yep. seats. Hey, guy's a fucking great fighter, great attraction. Well, who do you want to see him fight next? What do you think would be his best option, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, like, like division, do you want to see him back at any... Like, I don't know. I mean, he just gave up 75, right? So he's going to move down to 60, 68. Fuck, maybe him and Jamal, the, the 160 Charlo, that would be good. You know I mean, I think, obviously, uh, Canelo would be the favorite, but fuck, make the fight, you know. It might be create yeah, some interest. Definitely. And how about uh, 2019 also wrapping up again, uh, fight of the year? I mean, there's been so many, so many good fights this year. Yeah, there was a lot of good ones. Uh, the one I really liked was Jared Hurd and, uh, and Julian Williams. Yeah, that Day was Rock. a good fight. That was a good fight, back and forth. Um, what other fight? There's been like an AJ, the Re Regis, AJ Regis, Regis Bogres fight and uh, Kelly, what was it? Josh Taylor, what's your name? Taylor. Taylor, yeah, that was a good fight. Uh, I'm sure there's others I'm, that I'm missing off, off him, but you know. There's been a lot of good boxing this year. Been a lot of good sure, boxing but. this year. Hopefully, little by little, the politics can come down and all the fights that everybody wants can be made. You know? All right, true that. All right, cool. Uh, all message right. Uh, to the fans? Uh, Riverside Boxing on Instagram. H. Ramirez Boxing on Twitter. I post regularly about all my young pros and fights we have coming up. And we had a, I think we have about 14 young pros right now. We had a lot of fights last year. And we got fights right out the gate, uh, first week of January. So we're going pretty good. Right, there you have it. Big H, Coach Henry. All right, Thanks folks, so much, man. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. well, yes, thank sir. Time, thank coach. you, guys. Have a good one.